We're going to take a look at Unreal Engine 5.4's new uh, cloner tool. It's part of Unreal Engine's new uh, motion design suite features. Um, we're going to recreate a, a scene like this real quick. This isn't really a tutorial. We're just going to look through it. And as you can see, the these uh, uh, the Super Mario theme with Switch, uh, these objects that are rotating, um, they are due to the uh, new cloner tool. So we're going to be recreating this. Uh, so let's first open up a new project, a basic project. I'm just going to delete a bunch of stuff. Let's see, add our Nintendo Switch. All right, so let's head over to the motion design. Uh, you, uh, in order, if you don't have that, what you'll need to do is go over to plugins, type in motion design, and uh, enable that, and you'll need to restart. So. Uh, so let's switch over to the motion design and you will see the motion design panel creation panel and what we're going to do is whoops uh, we're going to switch back to the default view and we're just going to create a background just a basic background and just draw that We set this location. And let's go over to the details panel over here. Let's uh, keep it simple, I guess. Solid. I guess we can make it linear. Um, make a gradient. So I'm going to change the color right here. To the uh, Nintendo brand. Uh, where it says use unlit material so um, the lighting won't, won't affect it and let's see let's change the mesh size I'm gonna make this extremely exaggerated just so it can take up the entire screen so and I think uh, let's move this back so it looks like it's, it's just a blank world. Let's see. So we have the background and we have our Nintendo Switch. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna do, or the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go, make sure you're in the motion design panel. And let's go down to, let's see, actors. And then we're gonna click clone, uh, cloner actor. So let's do that. And as you can see, this icon, this cloner icon comes up and we're just gonna click and add that. All right, so there's our cloner. And next thing I'm gonna do is just zero this. Whoops. Let's make sure. Switch over to the motion design uh, outliner. And see, there's our cloner right there. Um, I'm gonna zero this out. Okay, so there's our cloner. And as you can see, we have these boxes. Uh, those are the meshes, the default meshes. As you can see here, um, you can see it right there and uh, if you click this gear right here in the details panel just a little treat uh, tip right there you can click that and collapse all categories so let's just look at this we have transform cloner cloner layout renderer progress step range spawn life and data layers so the transformer is uh, pretty much self-explanatory cloner we have force updater, I mean force update cloner, spawn linked uh, effector, enable seed effectors. Um, those are like, a, I, I think um, they'll just manipulate it like, like maybe wind or something like, like that or something like that. Uh, advanced tree update interval, visualizer sprite visual, not sure what that is. Or, uh, reduce motion ghosting um, under that we have layout um, under layout you have name uh, let's see so as you can see um, the default layout this is probably this this is probably going to change um, um, but as you can see it's three by three by three we can increase these cubes so that's eight by eight 
but let's make that four by four by four. All right, so, all right, as you can see, uh, spacing. And if, if you look at the side, you can tell, um, I guess you can uh, keyframe all of these right here from this location. So that's the default spacing. What we're gonna do, uh, but let's look at this. There's a line, circle, uh, uniform sphere, honeycomb. Uh, we're gonna use the uniform sphere, but um, not right now. So it's the honeycomb. It is a bit laggy. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so. Uh, basically, it looks like an offset grid or something like that. Mesh, spline, and random, uh, sphere random, so. We're gonna be using, let's see, we're gonna be using a uniform sphere, so. Now we have our spheres. Uh, you can change the count, as you can see. Um, keeping these um, the default cube or something like that, it's probably good for um, performance. Uh, so we can change the radius. As you can see, there you go. And you can orient to mesh. Oh, let's see. As you can see, kind of sticks out like a porcupine by direction, that's kind of cool. Uh, then you have this scale. Now it looks like the, it looks like the scale is sort of like a, uh, like a multiplier of the radius. So it doesn't really, it doesn't look like it scales the actual mesh. So the actual mesh. So again, it looks like it's a multiplier of the, um, of the radius, so. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. It looks. Like, I think it's like a multiple. It, it's a multiplier. Then you have rotation. And just notice that the mesh isn't actually rotating. Uh, the same. Uh, it's not actually rotating the actual mesh. All right. Then we have renderer. Um, mesh renderer mode. Uh, iterate random blend. Facing uh, facing mesh mode. Um, that's pretty cool. Velocity, camera position, so. Oh, look at that. This will actually be really good if there is, um, if you're using uh, maybe photos or something like that. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, camera plane. So it doesn't face, okay. It does face the camera, but it doesn't maybe rotate or something like that. And it's kind of weird. Um, let's keep it to the default. Uh, some really uh, cool tools. The thing about this is I think is most of this stuff has probably, 90% of this stuff is, or more has probably already been in Unreal Engine. It's just that it's just finally, it's being exposed. Um, um, it's being, uh, exposed to a more uh, friendly user interface um, for um, uh, motion designers or graphic designers. And for progress, um, let's just take a look at this step range. I'm not gonna go through this. We're just gonna um, spawn. Uh, so um, loop mode once, multiplier infinite, uh, loop interval and instant and rate. So that's for spawning and lifetime Enable. So we're not going to get into that. Um, uh, we're just going to make this uh, default scene that we uh, I started at. All right, so, so we have our cloner here. So how do we get our meshes in here? So we're going to get our mushroom and our question mark. Uh, Super Mario Brother themed object. So do to do that. There's a few ways. Um, the first way is maybe not the best way so let's see let's go out to layout and renderer and where it says here default meshes that's where you're going to that's where you can put your default meshes and that's going to be an array so we can come here and 
choose our meshes right there and add them there uh, but what you'll notice it doesn't update it doesn't update so what's going on right there what's going on is you won't be able to see these until um, you won't be able to see these until uh, you delete this default cube so I believe it says it right there all right so when nothing is attached to the cloner these meshes will be these meshes are used as a default default so um, I'm going to delete this and you're going to see um, you should see uh, these populate or pop up uh, actor default cube is referenced by the uh, actors object if you really want to delete it, it will break references so let's delete that now um, as you can see um, it's hard to see but the meshes are in but it's hard to see because the the meshes they're just very huge and that's one of the problems that at, at least initially that I, um, I'm finding is um, you don't really I could be wrong but at this point because I'm just messing around with it it doesn't seem like um, you have control of let's see you don't have control of the mesh uh, so um, I won't be able if I in order for me to reduce that size I, I think I would have to actually go into the object itself and reduce the size so what do we do uh, so what we can do is let's see I'm gonna bring in uh, our meshes and I'm gonna drag them in and then I'm gonna parent them to this cloner right here and as you can see I'm going to um, let's see I'm gonna delete this default cube and as you can see it looks the same but if you go into the uh, click the cloner or go into the hierarchy it's uh it's a parent it's a child of the cloner parent and now we can get in here and modify these um the size so uh what's this this is the mushroom so i'm just going to reduce this uh, reduce the scale let's see all right so let's reduce this all right there you go there we go uh, you know what I think that's a bit small all right so there you go there we have our um, our objects in our scene it's looking like the scene that we started it started with uh, let me get the, let's see show grid let's see all right uh, so there there you go and we have our objects so you can go in here and click uh, go into this hierarchy and just uh, make your changes to your um, to your scale if you need to and then we're gonna go back to this cloner uh, we don't need this uh, again um, if you use uh, the default mesh here if you add these your meshes there just make sure that they are properly prepped in in the right size and whatnot because uh, you won't be able to it doesn't at, at least at least at this time it doesn't seem like you'll be able to uh, modify it from there all right so we have our renderer and I'm not gonna really do an animation yet but uh, let's see layout so we have our scale so you can animate this scale and let's see we have the rotate and we can rotate this 